So uh, at the outset, I would like to thank NVIDIA for uh, uh, giving us an opportunity to share with you the performance of uh, this parallel Make in India CFD solver hyphen on uh, GPU based supercomputers. Uh, ah, it's not moving. Ah, yes. So, uh, just to give you a brief uh, background of uh, Sandy Engineering Solutions or Sandy, it's a technology company which is incubated from uh, Indian Institute of Science at Bangalore. We are the developers of uh, the industry standard RAN solver hyphen, which stands for high resolution flow solver on unstructured meshes. Its areas of applications are aerospace and automotive. So on the left side, uh, you can see uh, simulation of flow or a generic uh, fighter aircraft configuration, which is fully loaded. And on the right hand side, you see uh, simulation or uh, a Formula 1 configuration with all, the, all its complexities and flow around the tire. Uh, the flow solver hyphen is a robust, fast, and accurate tool for analyzing uh, uh, configurations during both preliminary as well as the detailed uh, design phase. Uh, it is highly validated. We have participated in number of international code evaluation exercises organized by American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics. So one of this configuration is a high lift configuration, which you can see on the left hand side of uh, 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 of this slide. And uh, on the right hand side, you see a store separation study being carried out using fully automated environment available with hyphen. So it's essentially the idea is when a store separates from an aircraft, one needs to ensure that it separates safely, it doesn't go back and hit the parent aircraft damaging it. One of the important features of hyphen is it exhibits super scalability on uh, SMP processor based massively parallel supercomputing platforms. And this is one of the uniqueness about hyphen. There are very few codes available worldwide which can exploit the architecture of uh, massively parallel supercomputing platforms. So uh, typically, the, in CFD, the parallelization happens on uh, the distributed memory system. So it is essentially because the CFD algorithms lend themselves to coarse grain parallelization, in which the volume of computations is much higher compared to the data that needs to be communicated. This is, and, and, and this, this particular uh, coarse grain parallelization is ideally suited for distributed memory parallelization. So typically, the objective of parallelization in terms of the CFD algorithms is to balance the load, meaning given the workload, you split it into a number of subdomains or number of partitions and assign these partitions to different processors in a way that the compute effort which is put in by this different, uh, on these different pro uh, processors or the processes is approximately the same while at the same time, the communication across these processes should be minimum in order to reduce the associated overheads. Uh, typically, the data transfer happens using uh, message passing interface, the MPI, which is pretty standard. And uh, if one a developer is clever, then uh, he would go for uh, non-blocking MPI directives, which enables uh, overlapping of uh, communication with the co uh, computation, thereby enhancing the parallel performance of the, uh, uh, of the application. So typically, a cluster which is having, uh, 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 having a number of uh, uh, symmetric multiprocessing based uh, processes with high speed switches fall under the distributed memory system. So in terms of uh, uh, performance of hyphen, it, it has been, uh, extensively tested on number of uh, uh, massively parallel supercomputing platforms. What you see on the left hand side is uh, the system uh, by uh, uh, system ECA from CRL. It was way back in 2009, 2010, where we could demonstrate for a Formula One type of a configuration with about 100 million volumes. It scales over uh, 2000 uh, cores. Later, with Intel, we did a study on NASA's Pladius system, 
where uh, it is shown to scale over 10,000 processor cores. And latest, uh, recently, uh, Indian Institute of Science has the largest and the fastest supercomputing platform uh, crossing or one petaflop. Uh, and uh, we have uh, shown the scalability of hyphen over uh, 15,000 processor cores. So in terms of scalability over uh, on CPUs, uh, uh, it, 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 it does a fantastic job. What does it mean in real life for a uh, designer? It means a high lift wing flow solution which is considered to be very complex for uh, CFD analysis uh, on something like 150 million volumes employing about 15,000 processors, it takes less than 30 minutes. I think this is a kind of uh, turnaround time that Hyphen performs on these massively parallel uh, SMP-based supercomputing platforms. Now with this, I think uh, 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 maybe last year or a couple of years, the accelerator-based supercomputing in CFD is kind of gaining popularity. This is because of the lower power consumption. They are also compact. Uh, one, of this, uh, one of these accelerators is, uh, of course, the graphical processing units, GPUs by NVIDIA, which come over a card or a board, which are connected uh, to the uh, connected in node over uh, PCI Express. It has thousands of core sharing uh, the same RAM. But in terms of the hardware architecture, it is different from the traditional Xeon CPUs. So the parallelization model has to be slightly different. It will be based on the threads or shared memory. Now, one of the constraints of uh, uh, this particular accelerator bed supercomputer, especially with GPU, is the overhead associated with explicit data transfer between CPU and GPU. So GPU is efficient, typically, only if uh, the many floating point operations are done per byte of the data that is brought into the GPU memory. So what it means is we cannot use our traditional way of distributed memory parallel uh, uh, concepts for parallelizing a CFD code on GPUs. The application developer needs to relook at the parallelization strategy, uh, especially from the point of view of the underlying uh, uh, architecture. So uh, when we decided to parallelize Hyphen, the objective was straightforward, to harness the compute power of GPU without compromising the inherent uh, parallel scalability of Hyphen, and subjected to two important constraints. And these are more practical in nature than uh, what I would call academic. The constraint was the maintainability of the source code. That was pretty sacrosanct for us, to the extent that when we initially heard of GPUs and the amount of effort that needs to be put in for, uh, uh, for uh, uh, using CUDA and the fact that we need to maintain two different versions of the code, source code, one for the CPU, one for the GPU, we kind of uh, shrunk. We said we are not going to do that. But then uh, one fine day, NVIDIA team came and then to they told us that it, it, needn't, it needn't be so we can make use of open SEC directives and then ensure the code uh, maintainability and then still uh, make use of GPUs. And that's when we said, okay, we will, uh, we will give, uh, we'll go and give a try to it. So the maintainability was uh, kind of an overwhelming constraint for us and also the portability. So uh, the parallelization methodology that we adopted is to uh, accelerate single node performance of hyphen employing GPUs. So uh, we evolved the hybrid parallel strategy based on MPI and open ACC directives, used an offload model where we identified the portion of the uh, flow solver which is most uh, uh, time consuming, the, uh, where the, 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 the portion of the flow solver where uh, the most of the uh, computation happens and then offloaded it onto GPU from uh, CPU. And at the same time, we also ensured an optimal data transfer between CPU and GPU to minimize the associated overhead because that is something which is also very important. The kind of gain that we get uh, really depends on how 
well you uh, affect this uh, transfer or uh, to what extent you can bring down the data. So uh, we started off with uh, uh, testing it on uh, uh, NVIDIA's cluster. So it had uh, this PSG cluster had uh, a node consisting of uh, the Haswell processors, two of this, it's a two socket board, so two Haswell processors uh, with uh, GPU as NV uh, NVIDIA K40 and there were eight uh, GPUs uh, per board. In, uh, interconnect is the high speed infinite, uh, infinite band and we used eight nodes in order to assess the performance on this uh, cluster. Uh, for we use different workloads for the analysis starting from a very simple wing configuration where the grid size varies from 1.1 million all the way up to a complex high lift NASA trap wing configuration where the grid size was 66 million. Now, so before uh, going on to the performance, I would just want to uh, go through the typical terminologies which are used to uh, report the speed up. These are some things which are pretty routine, but I would like to kind of uh, uh, again go through it. So the ideal speed up is defined as the ratio of number of nodes used for a given. So given a workload, the ideal speed up is defined as the ratio of number of nodes which are used uh, uh, for a given run to the reference number of nodes. The actual speed up is defined as the ratio of time per iteration obtained uh, on uh, the reference number of nodes to time per iteration obtained on the, the nodes which we have using for a given run. And the parallel efficiency is the ratio of uh, actual speed up to ideal speed up. The essential idea is when you run an application on a single node, you get certain performance. And for an iterative solver like hyphen, time per iteration is the indicator of how much of time this is going to take in order to give you the numbers. So on a single node, it takes certain amount of time, say x seconds. Then when you increase the number of nodes to two, you expect that it should, uh, the time to, uh, time per iteration should reduce by a factor of two, so x by two, what is called as uh, the uh, ideal speed up. The actual speed up is what you get when you actually run the code on the system. The reason being there are overheads associated with data transfer across the uh, nodes and the parallel efficiency tells you how well the underlying algorithm is amenable for parallelization and how well you have parallelized it. In addition, there are two uh, uh, important parameters. One of them is algorithmic scalability, it's pretty common sense. but uh, we see that it's not uh, 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 rigorously followed. So the algorithmic scalability means that the numerical performance of the solver, such as the convergence uh, characteristics or the, uh, uh, or the solution that it uh, generates, it should not change due to parallelization. You should not get one solution when you run it on a given set of nodes and some other solution which uh, when you run it on some other set of nodes. Such a thing is possible if you are not careful in parallelizing and making the data available for uh, uh, on uh, different nodes. And if that happens, the entire, uh, the purpose of parallelization gets defeated. Uh, further, in the context of uh, the accelerator-based uh, parallelization, we have introduced a, a concept called accelerator speed up, which essentially tells how fast your application runs when, uh, the, uh, when you invoke the GPUs as against when you use only the uh, CPUs. So uh, to begin with, we started off with a, a single socket performance uh, with a single GPU. So what you see, uh, the, blue, uh, uh, the blue bars are the uh, accelerator speed up that we have obtained for different uh, workloads starting from 1.1 million on the x-axis, 1.1 million all the way up to 30 million. The y-axis shows the accelerator speed up. And uh, what uh, the, the red blue bar shows the accelerator speed up while the red bars show the, uh, uh, the GPU utilization. So once uh, the, uh, uh, as the 
problem size per node increases, the GPU utilization also increases. And what we see is that uh, once uh, the GPU utilization becomes better, the accelerator speed up also uh, improves. It sort of uh, improves from 1.75 to about 2, 2.2. Uh, we did the second exercise. This is just to find out how hyphen sort of uh, uh, responds to the accelerator based hardware using GPUs. So what we see on the left hand side, uh, the bar plot for uh, the accelerator speed up versus number of GPUs. So for the given workload, uh, whether it is 1.1 million or 26 million, as you increase the number of GPUs from 1 to 2 to 4 to 8, the uh, accelerator speed up increases. However, when you look at the graph on the right hand side, which is a delta speed up, we have calculated. So delta speed up is the speed up obtained using uh, uh, two uh, GPUs and uh, uh, the speed up obtained using one GPU. And for 4, it is speed up obtained between 4 and 2. So when you look at the delta speed up, what we see is that the maximum benefit is obtained when we use two GPUs per socket. So uh, two GPUs per socket seems to be the optimal configuration for hyphen. Now, this kind of an exercise can be done for a given, uh, uh, for a given uh, application based on its uh, inherent algorithm and the other factors. Then we also went ahead and did the classical scalability study by uh, increasing the number of nodes from 1 to 2 to 4 uh, to 8 nodes. So the blue line uh, shows the ideal speed up where the, uh, 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 where, uh, uh, the parallel speed up increases linearly with the increase in the number of nodes. What you see uh, as a red line is the speed up obtained uh, using CPU alone. And uh, we can see that for four and the eight nodes, the uh, CPU actually shows a super linear speed up. Its parallel efficiency is, uh, 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 its uh, uh, actual speed up is more than the ideal speed up. The reason for this could be as uh, the problem gets more and more fragmented, the cache utilization becomes better and uh, as a result of which the superlinearity uh, is seen. Now when you uh, do the same exercise of uh, the parallel scalability on uh, uh, two GPUs per node and eight GPUs per node, what we see is that though both of them show uh, the improvement in the performance, but two GPUs per node shows uh, a, a more linear uh, uh, speed up compared to 8 GPUs per node. Again, uh, uh, this tells that 2 GPUs per node uh, is uh, kind of an, uh, 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 kind of a configuration that we would like to use for uh, hyphen. Now, there is also a reason for the drop in the, uh, 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 drop in the performance of hyphen for uh, 4 and the 8 nodes uh, when used with GPU. If you really look at the accelerator performance uh, for this particular cases, uh, uh, what you see on the blue line is the, uh, uh, the accelerator performance for different number of nodes with two GPUs, and the red line shows the accelerator performance with uh, eight GPUs. So the drop in the accelerator performance is because of the super linear scalability that CPU alone uh, uh, run is showing. That's the reason. So essentially when you, if, if you remove that, if you assume that uh, the CPU performance is linear, uh, typically this line uh, accelerator speed up with the number of nodes will tend to be a horizontal line saying that independent of number of nodes, the performance uh, remains the same. Uh, we also did uh, the uh, analysis on uh, a GPU cluster which is available at one of the DRDO labs called Anura. Uh, it has uh, again a Xeon family processors and uh, NVIDIA, uh, uh, yeah, and the NVIDIA Tesla, uh, 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 Tesla cards. And uh, here we have uh, used additional workload which has a, 
uh, for one of the uh, high lift configurations which has a grid size of about 165 million volumes. Now uh, as I was telling you before, uh, algorithmic scalability is an important consideration to uh, as far as uh, the parallel code is concerned. You would like to improve, accelerate the performance of an application without losing on the uh, accuracy. So this is just an indication. What you see on the uh, left uh, graph is uh, the uh, evolution, uh, is the uh, residue convergence of uh, which is obtained using hyphen for two quantities when using CPU and CPU with GPUs. You see that the, there is no change in the uh, numerical performance of hyphen. On the right hand side you see the evolution of the integrated coefficients which are important for a designer to look at. So they are also irrespective of whether you use just two CPUs or you use uh, uh, four CPUs with GPUs, the performance does not really change. So this is an important uh, 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 test for, uh, the, uh, for any parallel uh, uh, application. So uh, uh, one of the important outcomes of this exercise was we were able to run hyphen on fairly large number of nodes, almost about 110 nodes, so which has about two, which had about 222, uh, 220 uh, uh, GPUs and uh, here we got an accelerator speed up of 2.3 which means that when you run the solver on CPU alone 110 nodes of uh, only CPU and when you run it on 110 nodes which has both CPU and GPUs or uh, GPU is enabled you get a speed up of about 2.3. So a uh, system with 110 nodes in effect will be seen as a system with something like 250 nodes which is, uh, which is, which is really good. And what you see on the uh, uh, bottom figures are the uh, comparison of the accuracy, uh, comparison of the integrated coefficients. Again these are certain design parameters which are used, uh, useful for the uh, designer. So it sort of matches with the experimental data fairly well. Again the magnitude of this parallelization it can be uh, understood by uh, the fact that the entire these five simulations with a grid with about 165 million volumes we could do it in a matter of a day. If we had to do it uh, on lesser number of codes it could have gone for weeks or even for a month. So this is again uh, uh, power of uh, these accelerator based supercomputing platforms. So to summarize, uh, an offload based methodology is developed for porting hyphen on the GPU based supercomputers. Uh, this uh, methodology focuses on improving the single node performance of uh, hyphen. It uses an hybrid strategy for MPI and open, uh, open strategy for the parallelization. We get a typical accelerator speed up between 2 to 2.5 and uh, two GPUs or node seems to be an optimal uh, configuration for uh, hyphen. And uh, I would like to conclude saying that hyphen on GPU based supercomputer is ideally suited for uh, solving the grand challenge problems. So I'm also very happy to share that Hyphen has also entered in October in the GPU acceleration, uh, uh, GPU applications uh, uh, catalog. So uh, I think a lot of people have uh, helped us in uh, executing the work from Anurag as well as from NVIDIA. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of them. So thank you very much. Any questions from the audience, please? Yes. Ah, yes, please. Uh, I wanted to know why you scale suddenly on Anurag for 110 nodes? <coughs> because in the earlier experiment which you had, mm -hmm. with 8 nodes, you could not get scaling with accelerator with a GPU on each node. So suddenly on, uh, suddenly on Anurag, you could leave it for 110 uh, nodes at 2.5 speed up. <coughs> yes. Uh, uh, one, there could be two reasons. One is uh, Anurag 
had uh, slightly an older uh, processor and the, uh, the GPU card compared to the PNG cluster. So PNG had Haswell and uh, KAT, Anurag had a previous uh, generation uh, uh, device. And we'd, we'd, at Anurag, we did not do this uh, parallel scalability. So even if on uh, uh, PSG, if you really look at it, the performance degenerates, but it comes to something like 1.9 to 2. Well, here we are seeing about uh, 2.3. So it could be because of the fact that the, uh, uh, the uh, and of course, if you look at uh, the Haswell, it shows a super linearity. And uh, that super, super linearity is not seen when you use GPU. Super linearity is generally uh, seen when the memory access becomes, uh, 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 becomes uh, faster or better, which happens when you sp start splitting your problem into smaller pieces the cache utilization improves as a result of which it shows superlinearity. In, in case of GPU, it is unlikely because the, the data transfer overheads between CPU to GPU would actually limit the performance. Right. Okay, any other question? Ah, oh, please. How are those? Uh, uh, yeah, please. How are those uh, speed ups calculated? Because in one of the graphs, I have seen that after 15,000 cores, you get a speed up of about 40, which is mm -hmm. uh, very poor. Which one? Uh, in the uh, in the one of the earlier slides. I think right in the maybe the third slide or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. So in the third graph, you see the speed up. Number of processor is 15,000. This, this third one, right? Yeah, and you get a speed up of only 40. Uh, right. Actually, uh, there, I haven't told you the full story. What you see as the blue line is the ideal speed up. What you see as the red line is the actual speed up. So there, you get a parallel efficiency of 200%. And uh, yes, I think there is, there is something special with these Haswell processors because this is happening even for such a huge uh, uh, number of uh, cores. Now, what happens here is uh, you have a grid with about 165 million volumes. When you split it on 15,000 cores, your memory per core becomes very small. And it is become so small that most of it stays on the cache. Now, generally, you expect that in spite of that, you will not get a good uh, uh, speed up because the interconnect won't match the speed of the cache. But on Cray, the interconnect is so good that it is actually uh, uh, the performance of the inter in interconnect sort of does not really hamper the parallelization. So, yeah. That was not, uh, that is understood. Yes. But my question was, uh, the speed up was compared with what? Because the speed up is compared with about, you should have got a about two, speed I up. think it is 128 or 256 cores. This is not with single. Uh, ah, so that's not what I was asking. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. It's not with the single uh, this thing because it's not possible to fit this uh, workload on a on a single core on a single process. It is it is on the minimum number of cores is uh, 128. <coughs> yes. Is it okay? Any other question? Thank you very much. Thanks again. Thank you very much. Thanks.